Hey everyone, Slambo here, hopping on another contest. This was from uh, Macamania. He asked us to show our top five singer-songwriter albums in our collections. I uh, picked five singer-songwriters that are well known. Uh, I'm gonna go in the order of prevalence in our collection. So the first one is the the one that we have the least of, and the last one will be the one we have the most of. Uh, so starting with the least, we have one solo record from this person, and that is Morrissey. Uh, this is uh, this is Viva Hate, and it's got tracks on here like Little Man, What Now, Every Day is Like Sunday, uh, The Ordinary Boys, Don't Mind If You Forget Me, uh, Margaret on the Guillotine, and Late Night Maudlin Street, and a few others on here. But Morrissey is my first, is my number five pick for singer-songwriter. Next, we've got a couple of this person's uh, solo works. This is Arlo Guthrie. Uh, this is someone that we actually got to see live when he came here to Madison a couple years ago. Uh, this one, you know, Arlo is, of course, best known for the Alice's Restaurant Massacre, which actually is on this record. Uh, so also on here, we've got uh, City of New Orleans, which is another one that he's really well known for. Uh, the Motorcycle Song, and this one has the uh, the discussion in it where he actually explains the significance of the pickle. Uh, Cooper's Lament, Gabriel's Mother's Highway Ballad Number no. 16 Blues, uh, Last Train, Darkest Hour, and Last to Leave. So there's only nine tracks on here, but uh, some of the tracks that he does are, are a bit longer than some of the other artists that we've got in our collection. Next one is a person that I've shown several times before who I, is one of my favorites, and that's Tom Lehrer. He didn't do very much, but he had a few records. This is one of them. This is Songs by Tom Lehrer. Uh, this one has the Irish Ballad, the Hunting Song, the Wiener Schnitzel Waltz, Be Prepared, The Wild West is Where I Want to Be, The Old Dope Peddler, uh, When You're Old and Gray, and Fight Fiercely Harvard, and a few others on here as well. Uh, so Tom Lehrer was most known for, among most people, for the Elements song, which is on the uh, on the concert record, An Evening Wasted with Tom Lehrer. This one is actually available on a 10-inch as well. You can find a 10-inch version of this. Uh, and then there's also another one, a follow-up to this, called More Songs by Tom Lehrer. So Tom Lehrer is our number three pick for singer-songwriter. Number four pick is another person that I got to see live before he passed away, and that's John Hartford. Uh, this one also fits into the country music uh, tag, which is coming up in another video pretty soon. Uh, this one is one that I actually got him to sign as well, so this is, has extra special meaning for me. Uh, this has songs on it like the good old electric washing machine, circa 1943, uh, Up on the Hill, Sail Away Ladies, Natural to Be Gone, Jawbone, California Earthquake, and it closes with My Rag. There's 12 tracks on here on Flying Fish Records, uh, recorded in 1981. There it is, copyright 1981 Flying Fish Records. So John Hartford is my number two. That leaves the number one spot in our collection for singer-songwriters, and that's got to go to Sting. Uh, my wife is a huge Sting and Police fan, so we've got a lot of Sting in our collection. This one is the best of Fields of Gold, 1984 to 1994, so it's a decade worth of songs. Uh, we've got tracks on here, you know, Fields of Gold, of course, the title track. Fragile, Why Should I Cry For You, We'll Be Together, Russians, The Cowboy Song, uh, They Dance Alone, Be Still My Beating Heart, Fortress Around Your Heart, uh, and, of course, if you love somebody, set them free. So some of his better-known solo songs in that decade from 84 to 94. But Sting is my choice for top uh, of the top five singer-songwriters in our collection. So that's what I've got today. See you next time.